You're not from head office. Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Danbury, think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice <laughs> floor as this. Well, of course, I'm your friend, but you ain't always fair with me. And we're live. Welcome back to part 59 of the full game commentary and playthrough. Arthur is back in Santony and he has a letter to pick up. I'm your friendly neighbor at Super Antonio and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. Hello. Well, hello again. It's from Charles Chatenay. And look at that exquisite penmanship. That is a dying art. However, I would expect no less from an artiste. Do we have time to read Charles's letter? I think we do. Letter from Charles Chatenay, mon cher ami. I made it. I have the sun on my face, sand between my toes, and a beautiful vahini. I think he means wahini. That's Hawaiian for girl or female. In my bed. The islands are everything I thought they would be and more. You would not believe the light and the colors and the people here. So much brighter and more alive than anything or anyone in Saint Denis. It feels like a world away, which of course it is. You may be surprised, but you are my only true friend from those dark, dreary days. You did not ask for anything you only gave. How perfect, how rare. I detest selfish asses more than civilization itself, but what is civilization really but organized selfishness? I must constrain my most primal and vital desires so you may be comfortable. Pa, no merci. This island paradise is what the civilized world would call primitive. But the people here are the most generous in ways I may not put into words I have met. Why is this? Because they are free. I have never painted like I paint now. It is work the likes of which has never been seen. Before I sent this, I shipped some canvases to New York to be sold. Perhaps, if you own that little scribble, it may be worth something now. Either that or laugh at my ineptitude. Always yours, CC. Okay, that was nice of Charles. Arthur is happy everything worked out for him. Good, my girl. We need to move on. Arthur has a date with Eagle Flies at Cornwall Kerosene and Tar outside of Valentine. There he is. Let's grab the Lancaster. We may need it. Who are we kidding? We will absolutely need it. You came. Of course I came. Said I would. Eagle Flies and his father Rain's Falls are an essential element of Arthur's redemption arc in Red Dead Redemption 2. However, at this point, Eagle Flies is suspicious of Arthur, and Arthur, for his part, thinks this is just another job. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. Arthur and Eagle Flies will take a moment to post for the thumbnail and the Instagram. Link in the description if you'd like to follow, in addition to links for the new merch store, my second gaming channel, and our Discord. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, 
call from you. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Okay, let's climb onto the wagon and sneak into Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. We really haven't been here since we stole that oil wagon for John in Chapter 2. Good times. Hey Tom, picking up? Yep, supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay, better get a move on then. really like all of these giant industrial machines. Leviticus Cornwall is the future. Arthur knows it, John knows it, and Dutch, well, Dutch is fighting against it. We need to go upstairs. Once we open this door, we should be fine. Ah. You must be damn Barry. Who? <clears throat> what? Quieten yourself, friend. This won't take long. <clears throat> damn Barry. Yes. Arthur does enjoy a good beatdown, and to be fair, technically, he is using his special set of skills here for a good cause. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head... You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil development company. The one about the oil near Wapiti? I... I... Damn, Barry. Think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice I... floor as this. It's here! It's here!
You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just... I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Out through the window, slide down the roof, and jump into a firefight. Good times. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. Really wanted to shoot that lantern. Arthur likes fire. We better get out of here. Let's go find Eagle Flies, grab the horse, and ride hard. That was a little too much stress for this horse. Arthur feels bad. Let's give her a pair. That explosion came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. Love watching an oil field burn at night. So pretty. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. And 137.50 for us. Not bad for a night's work. However, we really don't need the cash, and I wish we had the opportunity to give it back. The Wapiti need it way more than we do. This video is sponsored by Super Antonio Part 2, my second gaming channel where I play every other video game I enjoy that is not Red Dead Redemption 2. You can find the link at the bottom of the channel page or in the description of this video. Like and subscribe for deep dive gaming commentaries where I overanalyze and focus on the details. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. Arthur really needs to return to Saint Denis. I think we have another invitation from the mayor we need to deal with. I'll see you in part 60. Okay, my girl. Yeah. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We shall meet again. Further on down the trail. You all right, girl? Stay with Super Antonio. We ain't done yet.